Hello everyone and welcome to another SQL query training session with Learn at NoStar. In today's session, we are going to generate a match schedule from a list of country names that we have in our table. Now this question has been asked by some of you in the comments. So thank you for asking this question. This is a really interesting SQL query. Let's see how we can write this query. So we are saying that each country in this table is going to play a match with every other country in this table. So we are basically talking about making a join between the data which is present in the same table. So this is essentially a self join. So what we're trying to achieve over here is that, for example, let's say India is one country. It's going to play a match with Australia. It's going to play a match with England. It's also going to play a match with New Zealand. So in the output, you will have something like this. So starting if we uh, sort it in ascending order, starting with Australia, it has its matches with India, England and New Zealand. Then England has its match with India, New Zealand and Australia, which is already defined in the row above. And so are the matches for India. So every country is playing with every other country in this table. So to start with, we have to perform a self join. So we are going to uh, create two aliases for the same table. So select, let's uh, do a star for now from country A. Okay, let's call it country A. And then we are going to perform a join with country, with the same table, giving it a different alias of B. All right. Now, what should be the condition for the join? That is what we need to understand. And this join that we are performing over here, if we simply write a join, it's an inner join. So let's say inner join, explicitly. So we have an inner join, uh, which is a self join on the country table. Now, what we are going to do, we are not going to match on the same key value. So what this means is that I want to perform a match where the country name from this first instance of the table is not equal to the country name from the second instance of table. So if it is equal, what I'm going to get is India plays a match with India, which is which does not make sense. So what I want is India plays a match with Australia. So the country name from instance A is not equal to the country name from instance B. That is what we are saying. So our condition that which we are going to define for the join is going to be A dot country name not equal to b dot country name okay now let's run this query and see what is the output that we are getting so if we execute this query we will see that we have got 12 records actually all right so we have got 12 records here where australia plays a match with india or let's look at the B column. India plays a match with Australia, with England, with New Zealand. Then we have Australia playing a match with India, England and New Zealand and so on for all the four countries that we had in the table. So it has joined it by, with the three other countries in the table. So essentially we have got three rows for each country. Three into the four countries we had gives us 12 rows. Okay, now if you look closely, we'll see that there's some error in the data in the sense that we have got some duplicates. Duplicates, if we look over here closely, we see that the match is between Australia and India. And here on the fourth row, it says India and Australia, which is the same thing, right? So the two countries are the same. It's only that the order is different. Now we do not want these duplicates to be present because it does not make sense. The same match is happening twice according to the results that we have got. So what we need to do is we need to correct a query a little bit in the sense that we are not going to say not equal to we are going to put some other condition which is going to filter out those duplicates for us so what we can write simply is less than a dot country name is less than b dot country name okay so it is again going to give us results which are between the combinations between two different countries but one of the duplicate it is going to eliminate because it is only going to keep the duplicate with the country name alphabetically is less than the country name from the second instance okay so now if we execute this query we will get six rows in the output which is the correct answer for us so if we take it over here we will say uh, that we have got a match between australia and india and then we don't have any record 
where the country name is India and Australia. So we have got distinct combinations this time. So Australia plays with India, then Australia plays with England and Australia plays with New Zealand. Okay, we'll see that in the second column, there's no Australia because all the Australian matches have been defined in the first column itself. Okay, if it makes sense to you. Otherwise, simply see that Australia versus India, there's no other record which says India versus Australia. Okay, then England versus India. And then there's no other record which says England, India versus England. All right. So there are distinct combinations of the matches, which is the correct output. So this is how you can achieve uh, and generate a match schedule from a list of countries. This can be used for other permutation combinations also when you need to perform some distinct perf permutation combinations for the same data in your table. So the only thing that you need to remember over here is this particular condition that you need to focus on that it does not simply have to be not equal to it has to be less than it could even be greater than okay it would make sense because the only thing that we are aiming at is to uh, remove those duplicates all right so even it has to be if we, even if it is greater than it will eliminate one of those duplicates and give us distinct combinations or distinct match schedules so this is how you can perform this uh, query i hope that you are finding all our videos useful for writing your sql queries we are planning many more videos if you have any questions that you want answered please put them as comments on our youtube videos we'll try our best to answer them in the comments or we'll make videos on them as well thanks a lot for watching and keep watching and please subscribe to our youtube channel we will be posting many more sql videos very soon thanks a lot for watching goodbye